Hello ServiceNow experts. So today in this video, we'll see how can we uh, create a PowerShell file inside ServiceNow mid server and how can we execute the same, mid, uh, same PowerShell file from flow designer of ServiceNow and whatever the output it will return us that PowerShell script that output we have to parse and we have to store in a particular table. This is the whole uh, use case we are going to cover in this video. So I believe before jumping to this video, you might have seen my earlier video, which uh, where I have explained you what is ECCQ, what is the, how can we install the mid servers and also, so let's jump to the, this use case. Before that, I'll show you the my mid server. This is my mid server where I have already logged in. If I'll open, uh, open the my mid server location, where is the C drive? and this is my mid server inside agent folder you can see there is one folder called scripts if i'll open this there is one folder called powershell if i'll open this here all the powershell scripts are placed so if let's go to the service now if i'll come to service now here i'll search here mid server okay so mid server here you can see one uh, section is there called script files this is one menu items if i'll click open this one and here it will show you uh, lots of parent okay wherever parent is powershell i'll do right click and show matching okay you can see what it is returning me 26 record that means 26 uh, powershell files has been already created over here okay that's why that 26 number is coming if i'll create any new file in the service now automatically a file will get created it's a service now out of the box feature i'll show you an example you can see there are no field there is no file called abc okay i'll for example i'll create a abc file with name abc let's see as it's a powershell file the extension would be ps1 abc.ps1 and i'll give some like get uh, service i'll give this command this is nothing but a powershell command what powershell script you want to place this section is that only if i'll do this and i'll click submit so here you can see abc.ps1 and file got created over here if i'll come here see in suddenly it got created over here also if i'll right click uh, sorry let me double click i have already configured i think yes you can see get hyphen service is coming that means where whatever file will will be get created under this mid server script files that same file will get created over here so that's why i have already created one file called get services okay this file nothing but will return me my running services okay if i'll do your um, windows r and services okay it's coming dot mac so this once you'll do services dot mac it will return you all the services whatever is available whatever is running or stopped for this particular server it will return you all the services so what is my use case i want to bring all the services into service now every day one schedule job will execute it will pull all the services and it will store inside the service now every day morning that's my use case so what how can i achieve this to get these services i have to execute a command powershell command if i write uh, for that if you can come to this uh, search bar i'll type powershell okay i'll right click and i'll open it as an administrator let me show you if i'll execute that command get type in service it should return me all the services with state state is running one is state disturbed this is the service name everything i'm getting okay but this is a text file right i do, i can't service now will not able to understand this text it will be very tough for me to parse and everything so that's why powershell is also giving you one functionality to convert this text to json okay i'll type guide hyphen service uh, i think convert to hyphen json let's see oh it's worked you can see it worked so let's pass the same command from service now to our mid server so that mid server can respond me with this excel file okay if i'll come here you can see i have already created this command and this file i have all it might have already created you can see get services if i'll double click then this is the only one line i have written so this one line will return return me all the services in a json format okay this is the output so 
let's uh, think how it will work okay if uh, like what is the baseline to connect with the uh, mid server right for uh, last time i also mentioned this is there is one table called ecc queue this is the heart of service now if there is any communication is happening between service now and mid server it will be audited in this table okay in this table if i am requesting anything to uh, mid server it will store as a output and whatever we are receiving from the mid server it will store as a input okay so if i'll trigger any job anything one insert will happen over here and if once i'll get the response again one more insert will happen again one more insert will be here okay now you can see the row count is 47 now let's quickly jump to the flow designer how i have configured that flow designer i was testing this one okay so i have created one flow designer schedule basically which is run daily basis okay and here i have created a record in the eccq table you can see it's nothing but a normal eccq if i click on edit flow it's nothing but like this is uh, i have to create a out out of the box create record actions i have called over here and this created record uh, here i have mentioned the ecc queue here i have to pass couple of parameters like agent topic payload state queue what is this agent agent is nothing but our mid server name okay it should be always this prefix should be always there mid dot server dot then you have to pass your mid server name for in my case my mid server name is pride space mid last time i have configured this and the topic you should pass as command and this payload is nothing but our payload you can see this is the payload which i am passing over here you can see in this i have mentioned power inside the powershell folder inside the scripts inside again the powershell inside there is be one powershell file called get services.ps1 and this one i am converting into the xml and i am passing as a payload once you will that means this action is nothing but will create a record in the eccq table if i'll jump here to eccq table i click on new button okay here you can see agent means i have to pass the mid server name this topic i have to pass command and this is the response to will not pass this should be output and this should be in ready state and this is one xml uh, payload we have to pass like service on mid server will understand the xml language only okay this xml we have created over here and that one i have passed it if i'll quickly go to the this one okay so once you will pass this once we'll create this record that means it will create a record in the ecc queue table that means we have asked a question to mid server now it's time for mid server to respond back to our question so for that what i have done it may take five second it may take 10 second it may take 50 second okay it depends upon the query it depends upon the questions complexity so here i have created one flow like do the following until i am getting a response from mid server okay so here always the here i have created a flow variable called count which will always increase so i am waiting for every 10 second i am checking like whether i am getting a response or not response or not so like this i'll check for a maximum 10 times that means i can wait maximum for 100 seconds you can configure based on your complexity of the code so once i once this uh, file will execute once this flow will execute it will come here first it will create a ecq record then do the following you can see it here i am checking if i am getting any response so if i'll show you this new record once you will get any response automatically this response to value will be there okay i mentioned you there will be two records one will be input one will be output if it is input that means service mid server has given a response that means whatever output question it was it will automatically refer to this one if i'll click on this will be referring to ecc queue table nothing but you can see okay so once i'll get the response i am checking here to get the response and i am here i am setting the flow variable so if i'll get any json payload if i'll get any response then it will store over here okay and uh, at the end i have all created a custom action that action is nothing but will pass your json here i'm uh, here i'm only converting that xml to json and again that json to json parse that json means this will be that json this one where is that okay Wh when i executed that command it has written couple of json file right json uh, script so it's nothing but that json it will be can parse that json and i am looping that json okay and it will create the record in this table so i'll show you this table this is one of my empty table 
okay let's execute this flow designer i'll you can get it better way i'll click on test i'll click on run test i'll open this so now you can see it is waiting waiting for 30 second 10 seconds sorry so if i'll come here it's supposed to made an entry over here let's see okay you can see it's already it has 49 it it was earlier it was 47 now it is 49 that means it's already sent a question and mid server has already responded back so you can see this response to value is here it's showing command it is nothing but the cid of this particular row this is output row okay that means our flow designer should have completed if i'll refresh my flow designer oh nice see it has already completed that means it might have already inserted all the services whatever is available in our mid server if i refresh this record let's see if we are getting oh nice see we have got this many services 208 services has opened in our uh, mid server okay so if you want that particular ex uh, flow designer uh, in your uh, update side or anything please let me know in comments and your mail address i'll definitely give you with that so i hope i am a bit clear over here and if you want to try something new some like complex uh, power cell commands like how can you pass the arguments how can you uh, create a file create a folder how can you create a users in that particular mid server everything can be handled over here this is a whole part of service now orchestration i hope uh, you'll enjoy you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching